ahead and yield uh, the uh, gentlelady from Minnesota, Ms. Bachman, as much time as she may consume. The gentlelady from Minnesota is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentleman for yielding as well. I feel very strongly about this issue, Madam Speaker. I believe without a shadow of a doubt, this is one of the most insane policies that borders on madness for the United States to give funding, training, and arms most likely to al-Qaeda in Syria doesn't make any sense. Can we realize what it is we're talking about right now? This is Islamic Jihad, which has declared war on the United States and declared war on our ally Israel. And we're now in a position when we're authorizing arming, training, and funding for allies of al-Qaeda and al-Qaeda themselves in Syria. This is absolute madness. Because you see, Madam Speaker, the decision to arm the Syrian rebels by the Obama administration just this week will likely have catastrophic consequences for our United States national security and the national security of our ally Israel. The Syrian rebels that the President wants to arm consist mostly of al-Qaeda members that we've spent the last decade fighting a war against. And have we forgotten the thousands that were of Americans that were killed on September 11th in the horrific Twin Towers attack and here in this city at the Pentagon. We lost over 3,000 Americans that day. Are we forgetting who we fought in Iraq and in Afghanistan? It's my opinion, Madam Speaker, that this is insanity to aid those who've taken the lives of, of Americans with impunity and continue to do so. Just take note. The leader of al-Qaeda is an individual named Zawahiri. Zawahiri called on Muslims from around the world to make their way to Syria and support the rebels and, in fact, become the rebels who are seeking to overthrow Assad. We don't have a great track record, Madam Speaker, of putting arms into the hands of terrorists. Take a look at the Fast and Furious program in Mexico and the terrorists who received arms from the United States. Take a look at Benghazi and the tens of thousands of weapons, man pads, that went into the hands of al-Qaeda after Benghazi. And now we're intentionally going to make a decision to send money, training, and arms to al-Qaeda? How about a referendum with the American people? I think this would be more than a 90% issue. Don't do it. And that's why we're standing here today. Don't do it. The top spiritual leader of the Muslim Brotherhood is a man named Karadawi. He has been outlawed from the United States because he's a terrorist. Also, he was outlawed from Egypt because he's a terrorist. He has called for jihad in Syria, and he has said, quote, every Muslim trained to fight and capable of doing that must make himself available. So you have the head of al-Qaeda, and the head of the terrorist organization, the Muslim Brotherhood, both calling on Islamic jihadists to go to Syria to fight and be the rebels. And we're going to arm them, and we're going to train them, and we're going to provide material support to them? Not my vote. Madam Speaker, former President Morsi, who was formerly the head of the Muslim Brotherhood, which was outlawed under Mubarak in Egypt, he supported the call from hardline Egyptian clerics who called for Egyptians to go fight jihad in Syria. So you see there's a common thread here. All the wrong guys on the wrong team are all calling for jihadists to go to Syria and fight. It was reported that over 2,500 Egyptians have already gone to Syria to fight jihad. Pakistan Taliban fighters have left Pakistan to join the fight in Syria, and they're working with al-Qaeda-affiliated groups in Syria. On Monday, Al-Qaeda's Iraq-affiliated attack on the Abu Ghraib, Ghraib prison helped 500 inmates escape, most of whom were part of senior positions in Al-Qaeda. These prisoners included trained fighters and ideological extremists who are expected to travel to Syria to join the fight the with the rebels. The time ha has expired. The Madam gentleman Chair? from Florida's time has expired. The gentleman from Indiana is recognized. I would be happy to yield. The, I would be happy to yield the gentlewoman some time. The gentlelady is recognized for 
a minute time and, do and a half I have? remaining? I'm sorry. You have one minute and a half remaining. I would be happy to yield the entire time to the, the gentlelady. The gentlelady recognized for a minute thank and you, a half. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman on the other side of the aisle, my friend. These prisoners included trained fighters and ideological extremists who are expected to travel to Syria to join the fight with the rebels. Uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the top military officer in the United States, Martin Dempsey, has warned us intervening in Syria could assist Islamist extremists, helping them gain access to chemical weapons and biological weapons and further erode United States military readiness already suffering from sharp defense budget cuts. He has said that using force is no less than an act of war and he said some of the military options for Syria may not be feasible without compromising U.S. security everywhere. He made reference to the chaos in Iraq after the fall of Saddam Hussein in Libya after Gaddafi. He warned of the unintended consequences if Azad fell without having a viable opposition and said we could inadvertently empower extremists or unleash the very chemical weapons we seek to control. This is a hub for jihadist activity. The American taxpayer has no obligation and in fact I say this body must protect the American taxpayer from being involved in arming al-Qaeda in Syria. We must defeat this amendment today, and, or we must defeat this effort, and that's why I'm in support of this today. Again, we have the Major General from the Israeli Military Intelligence, and he said that right before our eyes, a center of global jihad is developing. Let's not do it. I agree with him, and I yield back. The gentleman's the gentleman, time from Indiana has expired. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Florida. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.